St Helens side. A lot of talent in that back division. O'Connor and Quirk, two dangers on the wings. And of course, number 13, Paul Vorton. Played a dozen games before Christmas. And when he was captain, he certainly inspired Thames to some good wins. Wigan, the millionaires of rugby league. Really, 15,000 average attendance, the money to buy anyone in the game. But a lot of those players come through from local amateurs. Edwards and Gregory, Joe Lydon, Ian Potter and Andy Platt all come through the amateur rugby league sides. Drop out beneath the post, Paul Laughlin. Test entered against Australia last summer. One lad who's come through the St. Helens Colts system, and that's a good kick. Taken well by Hampton. Hanley already in the game, very prominent. Oh, he's been missed. Here's a chance now. Kevin Iro, he's going for that line. Young Connolly, oh, he's in. Well, that was rank back tackling. Two minutes gone, and Kevin Iro is already in. He picked up a couple of tries in last season's final, but what a start for Wigan. Wigan force and Helen Smith, and that try started way out with Hanley Peter. Here is a typical effort by Elry who shows space and strength, goes past the tackler, and a quick pass there. It gives Iro every opportunity. Loughlin's there, but can he tackle him? Not a good effort there by Loughlin, and now it's all for the line. Very, very strong player, very strong. No stopping this kid going over the try line. Oh, it looks a fair one. No, just edged out, just edged out. So, Wigan for Leiden, missed the kick. St. Helens nil. And a replay from the other side. We can see, as Peter Fox said, Hanley really escaped. But just look at the power of Iro here. 15 and a half stones, two men have him. He's got him there, but the power takes him through. Quirk. And Saints, I think, will really want a good touch of this ball. That's a good run from Les Quirk. Oh, that's a high tackle. No excuse for that. Alex Murphy, I think, very rightly going on about that high tackle. Mr. Tennant stopping the play. Dean Bell, Wigan Centre coming in very, very high there. As Les Quirk goes across the field here, Dean Bell comes in and that tackle definitely around the jawline. Captain. Shane Cooper, St Helens number six, knows that he's got to keep his eye on the Edwards Bell. Just 15 minutes left in this first half. Gregory dictating terms there. <laughs> Lucas concerned about his cap. Edward notice launching Hanley from out wide. He's here again. He's going to go himself. He does. Oh, straight through three tackles. What a player is this man. No wonder he's going to Australia this summer. £80,000 contract for three months' play for Western Suburbs. The Black Pearl, they call this man in Australia. Ten points to do for Wigan. And it was his strength, his pace, but his positional sense, Peter. And this time you can see the power of the greatest footballer playing rugby league in Great Britain and in anywhere in the world. The strength of the man is amazing. And he pushes their three men off and goes under the post to show supreme talent. Yes, yeah, supreme talent. Every skill exhibited there from Ellery Hanley. Power, pace, skillful running. And a simple kick for Leiden. It's there. No problems. Leiden's second kick. 12 points to nil now for Wigan. A pass there to Gregory, who puts the ball very wide to Edward Duellery. Everything to do as he beats Borkin. Watch these three now. With that swerve and a tight up and a push off the foot. A, protect, a pretended handoff. 
Platz still going. And the sixth tackle. Will Wigan run this ball? I think they will. No, Gregory goes for a drop. It's got it. One point in the course. It may only be one point, but it takes Wigan out to 13 points to nil. And it means, Peter, they've got to score three times St. Allen's, haven't they? They have. It's uh, a good rule to uh, come away with points when you're on the attack. And here's simply Hanley passes the ball to Gregory. Six tackles. What shall we do? We come away with a point, and that's good rugby. We understand from the bench that Saints coach Alex Murphy complaining that the ball is going into the scrum to Mr. Tennant. Edwards to Platt. That's a good ball to Hampson. Oh, this is good rugby bell. This is Coffee Brookstock. He's got oh, why didn't he pass? Well, he's no need to. He scored himself. 47th minute of the Silk Cup Challenge Cup final. And Kevin Iro is in again. What a threat these two Iro brothers are out wide here. I was about to remonstrate with him for not passing, but he's no need to, Peter, had he? No, a simple move across the field here. Hanley, a wide ball to Edwards. Edwards put plus on to a run. He draws the defence, and again, a low pass. Hampton's in, belt fair. And Iro pleases himself here. Connolly goes for him, he should, could have tackled him. Too strong. In comes Cooper, again, too strong. A very good try for Wigan, and that's possibly a very good winning lead. Yes, it was reported on Friday that uh, he was in contract negotiations with Wigan, but Penrith, Eastern Suburbs in Australia have come in to try to tempt the lad to play in Australia. But I understand from the Wigan chairman, Morris Lindsay, that they've offered him a fortune to stay at Central Park. So, another difficult kick for Lydon. But of course, no pressure on Lydon. He can just strike the ball. No, to the right. So, 17 points to nil for Wigan. Back to Edwards, to Platt. Had a good hard-working game, this lad, uh, Platt. Edwards again, that's a good run. Now then, he's got space, and he's trying to get... Oh, he's beat him on his own! But he'll not score himself! Flick of Gregory will! Beautiful coordination between those two half-backs. Connolly came across at the last minute to stop Sean Edwards from scoring himself. But he had the wit, he had the skill to put little Andy Gregory back in the inside. A good break here by Edwards, comes down the field and he's got Allen on his outside, but he decided to sidestep Connolly just successfully. And now he's caught from the, the blind side and gets the run on the pass to Andy Gregory. Well, Gregory came from nowhere there, because I think Elroy Allen thought he wanted to try there, Ray. I think Andy Gregory stole it from him, didn't he? And an easy kick for Joe Lydon. Two points, 23 points to nil for Wigan. Edwards there moving, moving through a, a poor St. Helen defence, races to the fullback and the side steps in. Beats Connolly, who just managed to grab him. Joe's just marvellous to get back to him, really. Groves to Beavers. He's lost it. Gregory, that's a good pass. Platt again, Wigan along. Hanley in full flow. He's got Dwyer inside him. Oh, that's good running. Balance running there from Ellery Hanley. Five minutes remaining. Wigan looking to score more. That's a good pass. The queuing up on the outside here. Gregory, good long pass. There's a chance here for Wigan. He's got Hampson on the outside. He's in. It's a try. It was the Gregory pass again. The long pass. Missed the man out. And Steve Hampson, the easiest of chances there. Three times this lad's been scheduled to come to Wembley. He broke his leg. 
Broken arms, but he's there. And Edwards puts out a long pass here. And watch the passing again. The Wigan players stretch the St. Helens defence to breaking point. And here it's broken. Hampton, an easy try. And look at the joy there. Look at the joy. Yes, he's been a frustrated lad. I, I fought him just before last Sunday's game with 80 minutes to go before he appeared at Wembley. And he said, no, I'll be playing as hard as ever. And the Wigan fans saluting him. 28 yards out. And I don't think Joe Lyon will be too bothered about that miss. 27 points to nil. He's nothing to worry about. But a forward pass. There it is. There's the hooter. Wigan, the winners of the 1989 Silk Cup Challenge Cup final. Tremendous performance. Equaling Leeds' record of 10 Challenge Cup wins. The holders of the Silk Challenge Cup beating Halifax by 32 points to 12 points last season. Here, 27 points to nil against St. Helens. Wonderful performance from Hanley, not just in tries, but certainly in the tackling. No wonder he's being paid £80,000 for a three-month stint in Australia. And Nicky Kiss, number nine, is hooking so well in that first half. And there is the Challenge Cup from Viscount Whitelaw. Once again in Wigan's hands. Henry Hanley holds it aloft. The usual cherry and white hoops salute the blue and white hoops of the Wigan side. They were the five to two on favourites. And how well they played as favourites. 